Okay, we did that. Um, da -da -da, select by attribute. So we didn't. Um, so we didn't have the um, uh, drill processing here, and we add a new selection, and we will add a field. So description is equal to perennial. Um, click add and click run. So now once we get this selected, and the lower right corner of the pan, 12 records are selected, so 12 out of 17, so we can see that. Corresponding features are selected in the map showing that the river is perennial for most of uh, its length, so it is not among the guidelines to locate the new park along the river's perennial stretch. But it is interesting that fairly simple data exploration may introduce new ways of thinking about the problem. And now we will close uh, the select by attributes. So we will find the length of the perennial portion of the uh, Los Angeles River. As we learned by looking at the attribute table, the perennial portions of the Los Angeles River is separated into 12 district records. To find the total length of this section, we must perform a summarization of the FEET fields using the summary statistics tool. When features are selected in the layer, the summary statistics tool process only the selected records as a subset. Because we have a perennial stream selected, the tool will sum up only the sum field of the selected features. So to do that, uh, we will go back to analysis, find the tool. In the attribute table of Los Angeles liver, we're going to right click on, um, actually we can just do it here, right click on it and summarize. Um, and summarize field um, and we will rename the output rename the output here we will say la river la river la river los angeles river um perennial perennial and by clicking the browse button and entering the name so which is right here and the field okay so we are using the summer statistic tool to find out the total length uh, sum of each feed record of the perennial portion of the Los Angeles River so in the case field drop down menu we will click uh, description field is description so statistic type we will say sum and case field I'm gonna uh, description that's fine uh, but I think we might have to deselect it so um, da -da -da, compare the tool for the configure and run in the lower corner of the processing window then when the tool finishes the resulting table added to the bottom of the contents pane right click on the table and click open to see the results so we have to uh, cancel this and click run if not we get everything here Oh, case field. I think this is different than description and clicks, click run. Oh, field is feed. There, alright. So, open attribute table. And, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, 229. Uh, 947. So we confirm that the total feed of the perennial stream is 229947. So at the top of the Los Angeles River attribute panel, we're going to clear the selection. So go back to map and clear selection. So now we can see the cyan color is deselected. So we clearing the record select clears the feature selection on the map and in the table. So now we close the attribute table of uh, Los Angeles rivers and the perennial um, summarize table. Um, so we can also close the summer status pan here, which is this one. And save the project by clicking save button at the top of the application. Go back here. I'm going to save it. So selecting features, we make selections to work with a subset of features in a layer. We can use the selection to zoom the map to a specific area, make a new layer from the selected subset, get statistical information about the subset, or for many other things. Selections are also used in queries. So whether we do an attribute query to find records with a certain attribute value or 
or a spatial query to find features with a certain spatial relationship to other features. So the records and the features that st uh, satisfy the query are returned as a selection on the layer. And now we uh, we save the project and we will change the base map to imagery with labels. So base map, we go back to map and base map is right here. We're going to go to imagery with labels. So imagery provides a detailed um, photo realistic view of the ground and we will rely on it. Uh, to explore the Los Angeles River in more detail. Imagery also has other important um, uses such as providing a background against which to added features. So and ground uh, truthing analysis results. So on the map tab, we will click the base map drop down uh, arrow and click imagery with labels. The world imagery is added to the bottom of the uh, contents, which is right here world imagery. So um, because we cannot see is uh, due to this two layer. So if I want to add this two layer um, and then I have to change its symbology to no color and out boundary, I'm going to change it into red color um, and back. Oh, I, I, yeah, I think it's fine. So, and I do one more. So I'll um, go to no color and um, I'm going to do a little thicker, click OK there so we can see the county and states oh gonna apply it yeah apply it and then back up here so now we can see the state and the county so the county is interesting right now um i'm gonna do 1.5 there so now it highlights the counties um so world imagery is added to the bottom of the contents pane and replaces streets. A layer named world boundary and places has also simulate simultaneously been added to the top of the contents pane. So this layer consists of locations, boundaries, and labels and should be visible on the map. So we should see yellow uh, place names cover covering the city of Los Angeles feature, for instance. So for contents PM and map, we should uh, look like this now. Now we're going to create a bookmark. Remember the previous um, previous book, uh, they really like to use the bookmark. But here, um, uh, certain views in a map are useful for orientation or reference. We can uh, we can bookmark a view to make it easy to return to. So first to zoom to the Los Angeles layer by right clicking the Los Angeles layer and click zoom to layer. So I'm going to close this out Los Angeles and I'm going to say zoom to layer. And on the map tab, we will go to bookmark and new bookmark. And for bookmarks name, uh, we will create and uh, make the name. We will say city of uh, Los Angeles and click OK um, there and zoom to river mouth at the port of the beach by the pressing hold and shift key. So I'm going to uh, hold and shift. So this river mouth um, move outside a little bit and then I will say um, the lower left. I will choose the map scale 10,000 uh, and drop. So Los Angeles Harbor. And then at the scale, one unit measure on the map is equivalent to 10,000 of the same unit on the ground. Loosely, a thing on the map is 10,000 times smaller than its actual size. So, um, yep, and that's what we want to see now. And I'm going to uh, make this um, no color and I'm going to change this to yellow and make it a little thicker line there. So now... Um, that's something we want to see here. All right. And go back to our 10,000. So, um, the imagery is high resolution and we will uh, see more details as we keep zooming in. Eventually, we will reach a limit in the level of detail and the image will become pixelated. So, when we are ready, we will say, um, bookmark of Los Angeles. So um, in here, I will say create another bookmark. I will say river mouth. Okay, uh, new bookmark. I will say river mouse. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So then later you will see the pixel and then it's not clear. All right. 
And now we're going to change the symbology for Los Angeles. The button of Los Angeles is filled with a solid color, so the imagery underneath is still covered up. So we are going to zoom in and follow the river's course uh, through the city. It will serve that purpose to resymbolize the city so that we can see only outline. Which I did it. In the contents panel, we uh, click on the color symbol and name, um, name Los Angeles to modify that. So you could do many uh, ways. So I did, uh, you can just right click on it and do it here. Uh, say no color or you could say uh, go to appearance and go to symbology or right click on it and go to symbology. So once you go to symbology, you double click here and you will change things here. So probably if necessary, expand appearance, uh, change into no color, which I did and change the outline color to um, and to neutral yellow and increase the outline to 2.2. So I increased more so uh, to see it better. So. All right, we will save the layer as a uh, layer file. Uh, it wasn't hard to make this particular symbol, but it often takes time and effort to create a good symbology. Having done so, we might want to reuse that symbology. And for instance, we will draw the outline for Los Angeles in other map documents in coming um, videos. So we can save layer properties as, uh, to a file called a layer file, which has the file extension uh, LYRX. LYRX is a layer file. It's a not a copy of the data, but we add it to a map document in the same way that we added data. So the layer, uh, layer file stores all the property of the layer, its name, symbology, definition, query, and so on, including the path to the layer's source data set. So we add, when we add a layer file to our Jazz Pro, the layer draws uh, with its properties uh, already set. So in the contents pane, we will right click on Los Angeles and save as a layer file. Uh, Los Angeles and we will say um, data. If not data, then we will go to selection, save as a layer file, no uh, sharing, and then save as a layer file. So it changes a little bit, but um, you just right click on it and explore where it is. So save as a layer file as a layer file dialog bo uh, box open, which is like here. And we will uh, click the folder at the top of the left column and open the uh, Parkside map and more folder. So um, Parkside and uh, maps and more folder. So now for the name uh, that I'm going to do is say, save the name is loss. Angeles, no space, um, Angeles, and click save. And now we have a layer file. Um, now we will remove the Los Angeles layer that is currently in the map and then add the layer file to see how it works. So I don't have to remove it and I can just uh, invisible it, add data. So, um, and desktop, uh, that's a lot. Go back to folders, it's right here and Parkside maps and more. This is our layer file. I'm going to zoom out. So that's the layer file. The layer disappears uh, from the map and the contents pan when I invisible this one and add this layer file. Um, and in the project pan, we will browse to the map and more. So I added and jacked the Los Angeles layer file to the map. So the layer is added to the map with all its properties set, uh, layer name, symbology, definition, expression, and so on. So open the layer property of Los Angeles in the layer property dialog box and we will click source. So right click on here and open property and go to source. So now we can see um, everything here and you can see the origin name and everything. Um, spatial reference and domain and resolution and everything. So know that as before the layer contains the city uh, polygon features class as stated previously. So layer file do not store raw data. They are a po uh, pointer to the GIS data along with the properties um, about how to display the data on the map. So now we're going to click OK, right click on it, open attribute table uh, that that it stores this information as well. So we will close the uh, layer property dialog box. So let's see if the layer uh, file can change. Yeah, 
So the layer file still can change its symbology if you add it. So now we close the layer property blobs box. Anytime we want to add a Los Angeles layer file to the map document, the layer will draw as a yellow outline with a definition query on the city of Los Angeles. Once the layer is added to the map, however, it is just the same as any other.